Hi, I'm Chase. And I'm Noah. And we're back, and I'd like to talk to you about some sensors for the LEGO EV3 robot. Sensors are of great importance when building a robot. They help your robot orient itself around the playing field. There are several different types of things that sensors can do, such as detecting color, detecting motion, and they can also detect bumps. So the first sensor I'd like to talk about is the gyro sensor. The gyro sensor is a very good sensor, and it's probably one of the most important sensors for your robot. You'll want to use this to make your robot go straight and do more precise turning. You can turn an exact number of degrees, like turning 90 degrees. And also, you can make your robot go in such a straight line that you can actually make it correct itself if it goes wildly off. Even if you turn it all the way around, your robot can correct itself with a gyro sensor. Next up, we'd like to talk about the touch sensor. As you can see, the touch sensor has a button on it. This button detects, obviously, bumps, or whenever you run into something. You can also place an axle into it, which could extend the button. You can assign certain actions to the button, or the touch sensor. These actions could be things such as making a noise, or determining if your robot should go a certain direction. This is useful for when you're trying to navigate the playing field, and you know your robot's going to run into something, so you can implement that into the program to go, when it runs into this wall, I want it to turn right and then move forward 20 rotations. The next sensor we'd like to talk about is the color sensor. You can tell it's a color sensor because it has this lens on the front of it. The color sensor bounces light off of different colors and it can tell you different if it sees different colors and it can also tell you the intensity of light. So. You can make your robot follow lines on the playing field because the playing field has black lines. You can also tell it to stop at lines and you can also tell distance with it. It's pretty useful and you need to make sure you calibrate it which I can show you in a later programming video. Next up we'd like to bring up the infrared sensor. This is a very cool sensor considering the fact that it has eyes and it does the same thing that eyes do. It allows you to tell the, diff the distance between two objects, being one being the infrared sensor and then another object being something like a wall. The infrared sensor could also do another cool thing. It can allow you to use the remote for your EV3 robot. The remote allows you to control your robot wirelessly and instead of having to program your robot. It's pretty cool, but in the FLL competition, you're not allowed to use it because you have to program your robot to be autonomous and run fully programmed throughout the field. So you're not allowed to use the infrared sensor. There is, however, a solution. You can use the ultrasonic sensor, which is able to do the same things as the infrared sensor, but it cannot connect to a remote. You can also use a color sensor for shorter distances. The last of the sensors are not traditional sensors because you can't really place them on the robot. They're built into the robot. So one of these sensors is the rotation sensor. It tells you how far the motor itself has spun, and it's the exact amount the motor has moved. Now this isn't the distance that the robot has moved, because depending on speeds and such, it can go faster and slower, and farther or shorter. And another one of the sensors that's built into this is the time sensor which means if you wanted your robot to move for five seconds in a straight line, you can do that, and your robot will be able to tell you after five seconds has passed. The time sensor is also very helpful for when you're doing the gyro sensor because it helps tell the gyro how long to run for when your robot is correcting itself while it's going straight. Thank you for watching our video. We hope that we taught you something important regarding sensors. In our next few videos, we'll be teaching you how to program these sensors and make your robot move more accurately so you can be ready for the FLO game or just having fun around the house. See you next time. Thank you.